yourself in a verbal abusive situation. So verbal abuse is actually a brand new subject that was introduced about 20 years ago by Patricia Evans. Um, don't really know or imagine that the response from the audience was very uh, uh, knowledgeable about the subject. Anyway, imagine, for instance, you are on a ship called the Titanic, or you're actually in a movie theater watching the movie Titanic, and you're watching Rose and Jack running around and doing their romantic thing. And then two hours in, and you watch this wonderful, beautiful, intimate partnership um, end with a crash into the iceberg. Uh, similarly to verbal abuse, one of the uh, abusive uh, things <laughs> is divergence, uh, or imagine even the narrator switching the film over to Peter Griffin, the family guy, just grabbing his knee, and you're sitting there confused as the victim, wondering what the heck happened the whole, your whole, all of your investment, rather. Um, also, similar to it, another verbal abuse topic is discounting. So imagine you walk into a store, an awesome new item that you've always wanted is extremely cheap. Now for you, that's uh, awesome, but for the person who is there, who invested their time and energy in that item, that's not so great. Um, and similarly, in an abusive relationship, the abuser likes to discount the person's personal experiences in the relationship, and the victim um, finds himself being valued by less. So, um, recognizing abuse dispels illusion of security in a relationship. So, what is verbal abuse? Um, oh, wow, I forgot about that picture. No, it's totally good. You're good. Um, verbal abuse is a qualitative. Uh, which means it's on you, the experiencer, to recognize it. it. means you need to go out and get the tools. Uh, if you're not aware, it's really easy to be taken advantage of. Um, it is an, an issue of control by the abuser, and only an illusion of authentic relationship really exists. Verbal abuse is hostile aggression. It's not provoked, and it denies consciously or unconsciously. It's a battle of a reality one attacker and a reality two victim. So a reality one person is, um, and on the board is, is actually some, um, social constructs here on the left side that sometimes we use in our um, friendly engagements between amongst bosses, employers, teachers, friendships, what, what you have you. But in a relationship, once you bring those in or abuser brings those in, if you are the victim, some of the responses you might have are here on the right side. Uh, that being said, rally one or the uh, attacker is a person who suffers from the need of total dominance. Uh, some things are present or signs of that is create a, a person creates inequality competition may tend to be manipulative and hostile and controlling on the other hand reality two person the victim is a person who believes in equality equality in a relationship and they perceive the other the abuser to be believing the same thing because of love though they may lack the self although they may do they may lack the self-esteem or tools to recognize abuse uh, some things lacking in that person's experience is equality partnership mutuality goodwill and intimacy, which are all things they're hoping to get out of love. Uh, so why can't they experience equality? Well, the person, the abuser is controlling and dominance gives the abuser the false idea of security where it might lack previously. Uh, intimacy um, for the abused or the victim depends on, not on time, but on how often you open up to your partner. An abuser is gonna be an insecure individual who's gonna continually manipulate and hard sell and intimidate and Keep that, out, keep that out of your hands because that gives them a, a feeling of power all over you. Categories of verbal abuse, there we go. Um, so obstacles and challenges are created to prevent you in recognizing that you are being preyed on. How to deal with that? Well, Eastern philosophy from the Tao Te Ching, uh, which dominated China for quite a long time, or one half, one half of the philosophies, says um, mastering others is strength, mastering yourself is true power. Eric Hoffner, who is a social psychology uh, major at, or professor at Cambridge University says, he's a Western thinker, our sense of power is more vivid when we break a man's spirit than we win his heart. Meaning that you can't really see the rewards when you're being a healthy partner, I guess. Uh, there's no physical marks. Uh, so you, a great tool or to recognize this is discover which reality you are. Write down uh, what happened when you left feeling diminished or empowered, confused or hurt, and use trustworthy sources to give you insights into what might be taking Place. Reality one type of people may suffer from mental illness, also like antisocial personality disorder, borderline narcissistic. Um, so Zlaka Felser, who's a Slavic researcher at the University of Maribu, she has written an in-depth article on these two types, um, says that these disorders display characteristics of self-inflated sense of 
importance, which are critical behaviors for an abuser to have and maintain strict and severe control over their victim. The abuser also needs to have a low self or low sense of empathy so that they do not have remorse for the abuse and actions they are inflicting on their victim. So some of the things that happen in uh, verbal abuse also include overt attacks, which include denying insults, um, intimidation, blatant undermining, and covert to cover up uh, coercion, manipulation, isolation. Uh, so your feelings are gonna be the best uh, tool here, so trust your feelings. If you sense diminish of what your partner does or says directly, affects how you feel and your ability to judge, well, a great checklist in this confusion is, have you had a feeling of dream shattering you held before? Or self-esteem was once no longer exist? Muddy vision, lack of clarity, confused, feeling the need of reassurance become greater from that, from that person? isolation, and does this only happen at home? Secrecy is a huge key to this. So, but finally, the Gospel of St. Thomas says, what does not flow out of us is not us, and embracing something else will destroy us. So in conclusion, trust your feelings. Feelings are your tool. If you sense diminish, find some checklist from trusted sources to go through a local therapist. Not only if you feel like either mindset reflects you in any way, verbalabuse.com has some great checklists for you to go through and figure out if you're harming or being harmed in the relationship. So as you embark on your emotional adventures, like link, like Lincoln the Zelda epics, I hope you don't go alone and we'll take this message with you.